Hello and thank you for watching this video. My purpose here is to introduce my view of the Bible as a sacred record and to offer a brief explanation of metaphysical Bible interpretation, a way that we Unity students and ministers use to look at and to gain value from our Bible study. First of all, for me, the Bible is a sacred record of humankind's attempts and sometimes its successes in connecting with the source of all being. The Bible is a sacred record of the evolution of human consciousness from about 900 years before the birth of Jesus to about 100 years after his ministry on earth ended. For those who say that the Bible is the Word of God, I have the highest respect. I believe that the Bible is humankind's response to that divine urge that lives in all of us. Metaphysical Bible interpretation is a tool that we Unity students use to gain more value and insight from our Bible study. In metaphysical interpretation, every character, every place, every thing, and every event represents an element of my own consciousness. So the Bible really then becomes the story not of the lives of people who lived thousands of years ago. It becomes the story of my life. In 2 Kings chapter 4, we read the story of a widow uh, who's a widow of one of the prophets whose children were about to be sold into slavery. Here's the story. Now the wife of a member of the company of prophets cried to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that your servant feared the Lord, but a creditor has come to take my two children as slaves. Let's look at the meaning of some of the terms here. First of all, a prophet. A prophet is that in us which discerns the working of the law and recognizes that we are punished not for breaking the law, but by the law itself for our misunderstanding. The prophet of the Lord sees the outworking of the law in our life. Lord and law are synonyms, and we believe that the Lord of our being is our own Christ nature, a nature that we share with Jesus. Elisha, one of the major prophets, the successor to Elijah, represents our spiritual I am. You may remember that Elijah asked for a double Elisha rather asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit, and that spirit is the ability to say yes and no with authority. Elisha needs that ability and he can have it only by perceiving the true nature of the change that's happening in him, his growth in consciousness. My husband is dead. Well, that means the thinking nature is inactive. The, the husband and the wife, the thinking and the intuitive or feeling natures are the two components of every person's nature. A widow is one who has lost either the, con the ability to use the thinking nature or the ability to use the feeling nature. As the text here says from Unity's Revealing Word, when the conscious mind has ceased to be positive, the subconscious mind becomes like a widow. The unity between the mind and the vitality has been severed and there's lack and burden or debt. The reference to the twelve faculties really is the subject for another discussion. Take my two children as slaves means I'm losing control in consciousness over my own ideas, my spiritual children. So one possible metaphysical interpretation of the passage would read like this. From a consciousness of lack, I look to that quality within me that discerns truth. Even as I hold on to fear of spiritual principle, I seek contact with my true I am nature. I find myself unable to access my thinking nature, and I fear that I will no longer be able to control my thoughts, that my thoughts will no longer be mine. So this is a state of consciousness that many have found ourselves in, and uh, later in the passage, the prophet offers some solid advice that we can interpret metaphysically to work our way through any situation where we're feeling lack.
Thank you for watching. We've explained my view of the sacredness of the Bible, and we've also introduced one of Unity's major ways of studying the Bible, metaphysical Bible interpretation.